here with the, <laughs> I'm super sweaty. We're here with the lead singer of the band. Yo! What's up, everybody? Yo. How's your day been? Good, good. How, How do you good? like the Ocean Side Healing Crusade? I'm all about it, man. We're not playing this week, this year, but you still excited? I'm so excited. You love it? I'll be here. Oh, there's okay. our other band member right there. <laughs> there's Moni. What up? What up? Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. <laughs> What's happening to that ear? <laughs> what? I can hear a little bit. You can hear it. God bless you. We can tell you Jesus What's up, guys? How's it going? New Joe here. How do you guys like this event? It was awesome. Well, we had a lot of decisions. Like decisions. everybody got yeah. saved. Like everybody. No, we had a, a lot of decisions, and everybody got healed, right? Yeah. That was 100 so percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 percent success. I'm here with Dylan from Counter to Culture. So we're gonna. Be, I'm gonna be helping him out uh, these next couple days. We're gonna be filming, and we're gonna be helping his channel out. So you guys will have to check him out. I'll put the link down below. Yeah. Anything to say? Yeah, just hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Go there, check it out. It's going to be really good. And stay tuned. Cool. <laughs> so, guys, I had this thought earlier today that I, I heard a story about uh, somebody that was assuming and, and judging somebody before they really got to meet them. And so right here I'm with Dylan, and I asked him, hey, do you got a story where somebody assumed something different of you or, or you assume something different of somebody? And so this is what he has to say. Yeah, no, uh, people usually uh, assume stuff about me because they see me, I'm like, I talk real proper, I'm nice, I'm neat, you know, I'm in the military. And then I tell people my testimony how before the military I was actually homeless. And people just mind blown and they, they would have never thought, but you know what, really that's the power of like Jesus Christ, man. They can really change people and mold people to the point where they would think like you're this person or you're that person or whatever the case is. Or really you never know you never know what people have been through what people are going through and that's the power of jesus man that's why we went that's why we reach out and we try to, to tell people about jesus so that they too can have that same story and that you know it doesn't have to be that way all the weight of guilt and shame Hey guys, back home, ready for bed. I just wanted to talk about the Oceanside Healing Crusade, man. What a wonderful time. It's always such a privilege to go. Um, every single person that went up there got healed, miraculously healed. I mean, the one that stood out to me was the guy that was 60% deaf and death, was 60% deaf in one ear, death, and uh, fully deaf in the other ear. I'm um, completely deaf in the other ear. And, uh, Wow, the smile on his face after he can hear Pastor Mitchell 20 feet away whisper was outstanding. It was awesome. It was breathtaking. So um, I had a, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I took. And um, man, if you guys haven't made it out to it, I highly recommend you guys make it out to it a Friday night. And if you can't make Friday night, if you're traveling from far, at least try to make Saturday. Saturday is an awesome time. So we'll have a good time tomorrow. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to outreach. We're going to see people give their life to Christ and lift up Jesus' name. The thought that I had for today, guys, the thought of the day, is maybe uh, assuming or judging someone um, by the way they look or judging a book by its cover before you even read it. And so, guys, I wanted to talk about a, a misnomer that um, a lot of our churches have gotten and a lot of the Christians that I know 
have gotten. You know, even at Oceanside, we get a lot of people that really uh, don't like what we do. We don't. They don't like the street preaching. They don't like the aggressive, the kind of aggressive nature of some. A lot of what our fellowship is known for is aggressive Christianity. I just encourage you guys, if you really don't know, if, you, if you're if you not one of a part of our churches, you just see this aggressive Christianity, this street preaching, um, I really, I highly recommend that you guys just maybe just watch for a little bit, maybe make a friend or two, and you'll really get to see that the cover is much different than what the book is. Our fellowship vision is to see people give their lives to Christ and to help people change their lives. Um, this whole Oceanside Healing Crusade is not put on to lift up Pastor Mitchell, to lift up the Potter's House, but Pastor Mitchell will say himself, it's to lift up Jesus Christ. And honestly, that's what it comes down to, is having God's heart and loving people and wanting people to give their life to Christ and to help people to make heaven their home. So that's it, guys. That's my thought of the day. I'm going to get some rest because I got a long day tomorrow and it's late. Uh, six hours, it's not too bad. See you guys. The road you run, the damage.